Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the five different ways that I am changing my reselling business for this new year. So all five of these uh, things that I'm gonna be discussing today kind of revolve around the big picture that my goal for this year is to really maximize my time and increase my profits. Especially as I'm moving into my last semester of college, um, it's gonna be a really busy semester for me. So I'm definitely not gonna have, um, you know, all the time in the world to put into my reselling business. So I really wanna focus on getting the most out of the time that I have. And these five things are the ways that I'm gonna try and accomplish that. So. I have a list, uh, let's go through them. Uh, so my number one, and I think this one is really the most important one for me, it's the area that I probably struggle with the most and that is tracking my time. Um, there have been countless days this past year that I would have the full day, like the absolute nothing to do except work on reselling. Um, and I work all day and then I get to the end of the day and I'm like, what did I really do today? You know, I photographed a couple items, listed maybe three or four items, but I had the whole day and I didn't get hardly what I thought would be enough done. So this year, what I'm gonna actually start doing is tracking my time. So I downloaded an app, I believe it's called Crumble or like Time Crumble, um, I'll put it, um, in the description bar if I can uh, find the name of it. But what I'm gonna start doing is really tracking how much I am spending, how much time that I'm spending in my reselling business. Um, what I really like about that app is that you can actually create different categories and start a timer for each category of the day, if that makes sense. So like for me, I started a category for photographing, for listing, for sourcing, for whatever. Um, just for me, so I can say, hey, today I spent two hours actively listing or I spent an hour actively photographing and that for me is helpful in knowing where my time is going into my reselling business. And for me as well, I really think that it's helpful because it's nice to know that I can kind of start a timer and be like on the clock, if that makes any sense. If I'm, you know, just kind of like willy nilly just working, I feel like the time can kind of like run away from you a little bit. Um, so especially um, if I'm really actually timing myself and I'm on the clock, um, I really do think that that is gonna help me this year be a little bit more proficient with my time. All right, so number two this year is that um, I definitely wanna focus on selling higher ASP items. For me, my ASP right now is about $26. Uh, in the new year, I would really like to see that bumped up to maybe 30, 35. Um, really, the main reason for that is that whether I'm selling something for $26 or whether I'm selling it for $35, it's the same amount of work that's going in it for me, the same amount of time to source it, to photograph it, to list it, measure it, ship it out, you know, all that time is generally the same per item. So I'm really gonna focus on grabbing those uh, kind of higher priced items. And so what that means for me is that, um, especially since I go and I source at the bins, I definitely need to start being a little bit pickier about what I am getting at the bins. Um, sometimes, and I'm not saying that I'm not going to do this in the future, but sometimes if I find like a new with tags Old Navy, I'll be like, yep, that'll sell for 15 bucks, let me just grab it anyway. I'm gonna definitely try and start moving away from that thought. I'm not saying I'm not going to do it, but um, I'm definitely gonna try and focus more on those higher ASP items that will get me a bigger profit for the same amount of time spent. All right, so number three is hopefully going to address uh, the probably most frustrating part for me about my reselling business is that is taking photos and I really, really struggle to get my photos to look nice and clean and bright, or at least as bright as I want them to be. Um, so I do have, I would say, a relatively, a relatively good photo setup. You know, I've got the white background and I've got some natural light, uh, but just the way that the room is set up and the house is set up, um, sometimes the sun has to be like just in the right spot for me to get a really nice uh, crisp photo, even with all my lights. So uh, what I actually started doing, um, which I thought I would share as one of my things that I'm changing for the new year, um, is I've actually started editing all of my photos in Lightroom. So I'm not focusing as much as making the photo look perfectly nice, beautiful white, uh, or the background, excuse me, um, when I'm taking the photo, but I can actually go and change, batch change all of the photos at once in Lightroom, relatively easy. Um, so I'll put like a before and after of, um, or 
whichever way the thing turns before and after however you can probably tell um but now what it's what i've noticed this past week as i've been doing that it, it is really cutting down on the amount of time that i'm spending kind of finicking with the lights and making sure the sun is in the right spot and oh there's a glare and whatever whatever so i can can take maybe a possibly a darker photo um but then just quickly edit it to be like nicer and brighter um but yeah that's definitely something that i'm really excited for um i think it, what it's gonna do is really allow my photos to just be uh, cleaner and help pre present like a really uniform type of photo in my store so there's not like varying types of light uh, but I'm really excited about that one that's the one that I'm probably think is going to um, at least on the surface uh, change the most in my store so in the same kind of arena there with um, taking photos and taking nicer, cleaner photos with Lightroom, um, something else that I'm actually going to do is start moving away from using stock photos. I feel like a lot of my listings uh, do have stock photos on like as the, the main photo. So what I actually noticed is that if I am selling like a pretty popular item that already has a few things uh, listed, a few of the same listed, is that if I search that item, like literally half of them are using or more than half maybe 80 percent of them are using the same stock photo as their cover image so especially with these kind of nicer brighter um, photos that i will be creating or taking um, i really want to start uh, kind of relying less on stock photos i think poshmark right now is super super lenient about uh, using uh, stock photos i think there's very few brands that will actually try and get your listing removed. I personally have never had a listing removed for using stock photos, but I know there are some um, some people out there that have had listings removed, but I kind of have this like thought that once um, Naver comes in um, and kind of starts their acquisition of Poshmark, if you didn't know, there's a Korean company called Naver that has actually purchased Poshmark, um, and I think in this new year is when they're actually actively starting to roll over, I don't know if it's new management or new... Um, like technology services i'm not really sure exactly what it is but i feel like part of that we may see an uptick in the amount of listings that are getting flagged for using stock photos so that's kind of my thought i think i'm going to definitely this year with my new photos is start moving away from using stock photos um, unless it's something that i feel like really isn't accurately represented in my photos and maybe needs like a model shot to uh to show it accurately but that's kind of what I'm thinking right now um, that may change in the future. Sometimes I do things where I edit, like I'll put a stock photo next to my photo and then I'll combine those in Canva and put that as the main image. A lot of times I do stuff like that. Um, but really, uh, for me, it's just relying less on the stock photos in the, in the case that Poshmark eventually decides to really crack down on using stock photos. So number four, this one is probably going to be like the hardest for me. Um, so I am really bad about like I'll go thrifting. Friday is like kind of my day that I go thrifting. Like I do all my school stuff Monday through Thursday and I spend uh, either Friday or Friday and Sunday and I go thrift and I go source. Uh, for me, the thing that I am changing this year about that is that I am really going to try and be a little bit stricter with myself about when I buy the items on, whether it's Friday or Sunday or Friday and Sunday, make sure that I am listing all of those items before the next time I go thrifting. Um, no, so what I do now is a little bit different. I kind of like, I'll have kind of like a backlog of like two or three weeks of things and I'm just noticing that sometimes those things will just end up sitting around for for you know for who knows how long like a month or so because it's like I'll pick up something and I'll list the things that I'm most excited to list and then I'll go thrifting the next week and then I'll list those things that I'm most excited and then all of a sudden I have this like huge pile of things that I have not listed so this year I'm really going to focus on when I buy some items from the bins make sure every single item is listed before the next week. I think I think a week long is a good time unless I get like a crazy amount of things. Normally I get around 25 to 30 items. If I'm listing five or so items a day, I feel like that is perfectly reasonable to try and get every single thing listed before the next time I go thrifting so that I'm always listing items relatively quickly after I pick them up and they're not sitting around for forever. 
And the very last one, something that I kind of do, but not necessarily to the extent that I want to uh, bring it to, is that I really want to set some more goals for myself. Not only like big picture goals, like I think I said at the beginning of this video, that my main goals for this year is I want to make the, make the most out of the time that I'm spending. Um, but for me, I also want to set some smaller goals, whether that is daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, um, and not necessarily monetary goals. You know, um, as much as I love to say I want to make this amount per month or I want to profit this amount for a month, um, I really want to start setting some more goals that are more um, not necessarily money related. So for me personally, um, that probably means something like I want to list five new items every single day. I, or I want to list five new items and I want to delist and relist five more items. So that's a total of 10 items being listed a day. Or I could say something like, um, just like when I wake up in the morning, if I know that I have a set amount of hours to devote to reselling that day, I want to go ahead at the very beginning of the day is write some goals down. What do I want to get done on that day? And I think that setting goals, not only short term, short term, like achievable goals, as well as like long term goals, um, I feel like that's really going to help keep me motivated and feel like I'm really working towards a purpose. Because um, I would say honestly, like, the last maybe like couple months the last part of the year especially with poshmark being like a little bit like who even knows what's happening with poshmark the sales being down things are just all sorts of like weird right now i do feel like i was getting a little bit sort of lost in like the the routine almost like go sourcing photograph measure list sourcing photograph measure list and i was doing all these things and then it came to a point where i was like what am I doing? Like, I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. So I really want to start um, doing some smaller goals, either daily or uh, daily or weekly goals, so that I can work towards that specific goal and feel like I've really accomplished something for that week. And that one's probably my biggest one, um, like mentally, just to help me, uh, number one, stay motivated. Honestly, you know, especially when the sales are down and, the, sorry, I can like see the glare on my glasses. It's probably so annoying. Um, especially when, you know, sales are down and things are just not um, kind of going as smoothly as they have in the past. Um, I think that it's definitely uh, helpful for me, at least, to set some goals and be actively working towards those goals. All right, so once again, I hope you guys have had a happy new year. Um, I'm hoping that things start picking up a little bit in the reselling business. You know, I definitely had a little bit of a slow December, and I'm really hoping that um, now things are going to start at least picking up a little bit. That would be really great. Um, but otherwise, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!